You ain't living no more. Yes, you are. You, you ain't living no months. Anyway, uh, it's time. I'm still on vacation. I'm lagging too, so all that bitch is not having my best one. My mix is 6.5. Uh, this is 100% real, 100% Greek, 100% slick, but no BS taking. The original Greek, the DJ, be silly, the Alpha Omega. Yeah. Really? And we have a very interesting week of uh, nothing, basically. Absolutely nothing. Am I sideways on y'all screen? Right. Sorry. <laughs> Right, our emergency streamer. Yeah, you're Zach. You're Zach Wilson. <laughs> you're Zach Wilson right now. You're Zach Wilson right now. It's I feel right. like he's recording on a potato. <laughs> No, so I went to the high school campus. Still like but this week we had uh, uh, TNA Rebellion, uh, which was a good pay per view. So tonight we have Dynasty, which will be hopefully good. Um, SmackDown happened. Uh, Kevin Owens was looked like a pig because he was winning a lot. And yeah, Dynamite. I don't know. That man was asked too, so I don't know. There wasn't really much this week. Matt Hardy showed up on Rebellion. And yeah, yeah, it was, it was a little cool thing. Um, Hammerstone. Okay, you can talk about. Right? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was. I, yeah, I was. Yeah, I don't know what that was about. I don't know what that deal was. That was a teaser or something. So he uh, he's not the way. Yeah, he does. He's a free agent. Okay. He's a free agent. Um, he's a free agent as of I think last month. Here we go. But that's that's all I know from from his situation. I think Jeff is also a free agent. That's why he hasn't shown up or anything. So, oh, that's Sammy go. try to kill him. That's Sammy try to kill him and go off script. Yeah. Well, Sammy tried to kill him twice. Honestly, if he wasn't buddy buddy with Tony Khan, they, they should have fired him. Oh, well, um, I completely forgot. Delicious as well. Was, uh, was um, hey, Hinder Fender. The entire Indian family, uh, Jinder Mahal, Vian Mahan, uh, and I, I forgot his first name. Is it Sama Singh? Something like that? Um, Sangha, Sangha. Uh, yeah. All three were released, as well as Zaya Lee, and I think there was one more. Yeah, Zaya Quinn. All, all five of them were released. Uh, we wish. Good job. Um, we wish them. We wish them well in their future endeavors. Uh, hundred percent. I, I definitely hope that all five. I hope that all five get another opportunity somewhere else where they can fly. But we all know they will not do it. So it's best. For both sides. Really? <laughs> I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. Yeah, it's, it's best for both sides that all five of these people are released. Zia Lee has a lot of potential. Uh, yeah. It's just her gimmick is just god awful. Uh, Jinder, his career has come, come and gone. Uh, Veer, as much as people say he has potential, I don't think he does. And Singh, he's all right. Ooh. What? 
What? I never. I knew nothing about that. Really? Is it, I don't know what it is. There's a meme I saw, and it was like, hey, 2021, beer is coming. 2022, beer is, is here. 2024, beer is released. I'm like, damn, <laughs> okay. How how old is he? Because a baseball prospect, he would have to be pretty young. Well, you know, as someone with the beard himself, he knows the beard can make you look a little older. No shit, Basilis. No fucking shit. Yeah. yeah. No shit. You better make me put my headphones on. My camera's not going. We know that a bit makes someone. Oh, oh. Don't don't get the video card out. <laughs> <laughs> he don't got ink. He don't got ink for that. He don't got the ki- he don't got the computer quality to record properly. Like yo, yeah, uh, we all broke. Damn. And stuff is six one five. He know. He make man. I'm broke. That's cap. That's no cap. <laughs> Hmm. Never knew that. Well, maybe the pirates can use them again. Maybe not. Actually, one of my friends, her um boyfriend plays for the pirates, uh Pittsburgh Pirates. He he got like called up this like and she's like at What's his name? What's his name? Off screen, I'm pretty sure it's not off screen. But, uh, it's a, but it was not Paul Skeen, bro. No one. Yeah, he's definitely yeah. Skeen. It's Paul Skeen? Oh, uh, uh, I don't know what he is. That's what we're asking. Who, who is it? But, you know, I mean, let me see. If it was Paul Skeen, then that's, that's a different level of shit. He, he, he like a generational prospect. Low key. Isn't he dating that chick from LSU that he's, didn't he's that? Al- he's Alan Kai. He's Alan Kaya Williams. Oh, my God. We were all dying last week. Hey, it's okay. He'll be out. Don't know that um, guy. Yeah. Ooh, okay. That's bad. That's bad. You said high, right? That's bad. Three week high for AEW. You said that's high for AEW. That's fine. It's a three week high. That's fine. That's fine. Is it um small Joe versus Brooklyn for the title? Hey, the card. Is, the card looks good. You know, according to a lot of the IWC. This is the greatest roster, roster assembly of talents ever. So we're gonna go off of that. Right? They also said Mane, Mercedes Monet was a failure. Yeah. Oh no, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. We'll get to that. But this, this is the greatest roster ever, right? In their opinion, that's their opinion. So let's see. Let's see the names on the roster. Let's go to the roster and, and let's say their ages. Hold on. Sure. AW? Yes. Okay. okay.
no idea who she is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. I didn't think that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my, my bad. My bad. My dad called me. Let's go to the Ross. Right? We've already started the roster. Oh, okay. Okay, so let's say the ages. Oh, of course. Adam Copeland, what he? 50? Why? Yeah. <laughs> Anna J is twenty five, so that's that's okay so far. Um, Austin Gunn is twenty nine, and he was born in the city where I'm at, literally right now. Um, Athena is what thirty five. Thirty, yeah, thirty five. I got it right on me. Um, Billy Gunn is in his mid thirties. Honestly, he needs to retire. He's 60. My bad. He's 60. Uh, yes. What? Um, Big Cass is 37. Uh, Brian Dance is what? 40? 42. Jericho is in his mid 50. Brian Keith is 32. Yeah, you're barely going to see anybody under 20. But this is the greatest. No, you're barely going to see anybody under, like, 33. But this is the greatest roster ever assembled. Man. MJF is probably the only notable one that's under 33. Oh, and, and, and maybe Julia Hart. That's the only two. Let me go to MJF. Oh, it's right. MJF is 28. MJF is 28. Swave. Okay. Swave is 33. And uh, <laughs> the women's world champion is 28. So that's that's fine by me. Um, Woodrow is like 30 something, 36. Samoa Joe is in his like late 30s, early 40s. Um, yeah. Jericho, which I don't know why he's still on the card, is in his 50s. Hook is in his 20s, so that's that's good, I guess. Um, Sammy Guevara, who should be fired, uh, is 30. Um, he's about to turn 31. Um, the pregnant lady is 33. So, yeah, congratulations on your pregnancy, oh, by the way. Congratulations on your pregnancy. She announced it after Dynamite, which is exciting. Once again, they're doing stuff after Dynamite for people. Um, this is the greatest sure. episode of Dynamite ever. That's crap. <laughs> I know. Yeah, Dynamite, Dynamite is just... Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. But... They're happy, right? Yeah. Everybody's over there is happy, I suppose. That's what they say. Um, Mercedes is happy. Uh, even though, let's, let's diverge to that topic. She has been labeled as the biggest bus signing <laughs> in AEW history, currently. Sadly. Um, how do y'all feel about that? Nah, no, no criteria. How you, how, how, just tell me, how you feel about that? Yeah, I, I, I can't I, tell you anything. It was hard for me to... 
Evet. <laughs> yes, all basically, I know. basically what people are saying is that she hasn't done anything. She's just shown up, saved someone, then attacked that same person. Uh, it's moaning in the background and it's going for the TBS title. That's all she's done. Uh, about a month ago, almost now. Yeah, about a month now, month or two. Been about a month. Yeah. I don't know how I think. Has she put, been put in any good storylines or whatever? Or whatever I don't they think she's buff. I don't think she's bust. I don't think she's a... Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I don't think she's a bust. Thank you. Uh, damn, I don't know okay. what's wrong with mine. I'm actually going sideways. I have to figure it out. Oh, I, don't think she, I don't think she's a bust at all. I think she needs to improve, yeah. Greatly, yeah. But she's not a bust. I don't think she's a bust. Nah, nah, I got you. Biggest bust for AEW? If you can do it, look. That's Jared. It's gotta be Jared. Nah, I, mean, I don't even think it's Jeff. Yeah, I think it's Jay White. <laughs> oh, I, I think it's Jay White. Look, someone said in the in the clutch discord and I can really agree with him. He's like, yo, I swear Tony Khan hates Jay White. He's from I think he hates New Japan wrestlers. I'm like the way he's looking at him, he must hate it. Like he I think he personally uh, like Tony, Tony, Tony hates New Japan? He hates New Japan. I think he hates New Japan wrestlers. And that's why he keeps on saying that John Moxley out there to you know win their titles. Yeah. Which is crazy to me. Now, AEW's got 18 titles, including the New Japan Pro Wrestling uh, World Heavyweight Champion. So, so, what titles? So, they have the AEW World Championship, the AEW Women's World, the TBS, the TNT, the FTR, or FTW. Yeah. FTR, you hear me? Um, the Thai title, the Trios title. And then all the RA titles and the international title. That's eight titles on AEW Dynamite alone. So they have not even counted Ring of Honor. No, then I added all the RA titles. Yeah, no, I, don't, I don't know how. Well, it's the RH World, it's the RH Tag, it's the Women's title, it's the Television title. That's four already. Uh, the Pure title, that's five. Uh, six the trios. Uh, is there a woman's time? Yeah, because what the hell is the Ring of Honor Pure Championship? What is that? It's pure rules. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the rules are, but yeah, it's pure rules. Oh, yeah, Jaden. Because they cursed. Can they No, it's not even that. It's not that. They would be. They would bring prestige to those titles. The problem is, one of them is going to get hurt. It hasn't happened to damage control like that because Oscar wrestled through her injury, so it's fine. But still, she get injured before or after. She was just an after. Yeah, okay, okay. But she's been wrestling through it, so I'm guessing it's not as bad as it could be. Yeah. Shout, by the way, by the way, shout out to Seth Rollins for wrestling with a torn meniscus on both. Hey, man, did you see how his leg flopped after. Man. 
That's crazy. Okay, ready. 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 Probably my fa- my favorite athletic wrestler of this generation, personally. Um, yeah. oh, no. In my opinion, this generation of Shawn Michaels can never have a bad match. Uh, but sometimes you get hit. Sometimes you get hit a lot. Uh, Shawn got hit a lot in his prime. Seth got hit a lot in his prime. So. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Roman is definitely the man with the truth. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bye bye. Oh, last year? Yeah. So, what happened was Vince and Triple H thought about that, you know, it would be a good idea for him to win that main event. I don't know what backstage politics are uh, about that, but they ended up. Vince ended up changing. I don't care about that. I'm just saying. It. Vince ended up changing the uh, plans, and while there were push, there was pushback. Uh, Triple H and all of the other parties ultimately agreed that it would be better for Cody to win the following year. Um, I agree. I agree on that too. I. It was. It was a good. It was a great decision. It was a great decision. It made. The whole build up even more monumental. I still yeah. don't believe that he was supposed to win the Royal Rumble. I believe that that was supposed to be Punk. Yeah, and I, I still think it was Punk too. I I think that they did the right thing with everything. Yes, yeah. the whole thing. I'm, I'm still waiting for them to release this um, WrestleMania backstage or whatever. They will. Yeah. I think. <laughs> Yeah, they're, they're trying to give us the best experience with that, and I, and I, I would love to see the, the reactions of certain guys and how much, I, like, people like to, yo, people are clowning on him, but Damian Cruz has been getting a lot of love from yeah. that stage, Honestly, and I, I think it's well deserved because of the weight that he's been putting in the whole year. Um, oh, yeah, definitely. I still got people telling me, oh, LA like, they should have won it. Nah, bro. It's all right. I like that. WrestleMania. Come on, y'all. It was also planned months ahead, so it could have been planned up to six months ahead. 
and <coughs> right. Either way, Damien, Drew, or Punk would not go to walk out of WrestleMania so, for what for what we saw. Um, but I'm I'm. Yeah, no, because that yeah, that, that was insane. Where, that's where you could draw like a view from with uh, Damien and um. Drew, but it's also kind of like, you know, um, yeah, but, um, you know, so basically, um, nothing. So basically, nothing. Okay, um, I think, I think Drew and Damien are still gonna have a few. Uh, I could have yeah. Um, I think Drew is going to resign still. So. Um, still some time left on his contract, but I think this is working the Kings out, probably money wise and shit like that. Yeah. Drew is gonna stay. If he doesn't oh, yeah. stay, TNA is is calling off. So, um, oh, literally, I, oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. He's so. in his The chosen one? So not yeah. pandemic? No, but what I was gonna say is as now we didn't really get the feel of it from the crowd from the pandemic. As but pandemic wrestling was legendary. I don't care what it was legendary, I agree, but like the crowd. I was gonna say, no crowd man. Right. You ain't got people saying Chris Benoit. You, you know what I'm saying? My bad for coming here. <laughs> I was going to say, as someone who is an LA Knight fan, I do feel like, yeah, if he won the money in the bank, his star would have faded. Like, you, you want to build him up because uh, you want him to be, like, your next star, like, with Gunther. Uh, gotta- I'm not going to lie. I'm going to have to cut yeah. you off because that LA Knight conversation was five minutes ago. Uh, but, yeah. I don't think he's gonna win the money in the bank. He has to. Yeah, that's what. That's I'm the saying. first step. You're over here, buddy. I think. I think he. I think. Not a backlash, but I think. What's the next paper after that? Bash of Berlin. Bash of Berlin. I think he's gonna win it there. Um, who do you think is gonna win tonight? Speaking of women, uh, let's look at the card. AEW Dynasty. Why are you checking out? Why are you checking out, bro? Yeah, I don't, I don't know what's going on either. Um, I'm gonna tell you the matches that are going to be interesting because I don't care about half the shit. Samoa so Joe versus Swerve Strickland. Swerve should walk out of champion. If he doesn't, then there will be a problem. You think um, any interference? Yeah. Uh, Tony Storm versus Thunder Rosa. Uh, Thunder Rosa's not winning. Um, the worst tag team feud ever. Uh, we're moving on from that. I'm not talking about that. Um, Okada versus Pac, which is a waste of a match uh, for a title. Um, that is a waste of a title. So... Uh, Roger Strong versus Kyle Riding. I think that will actually be a good match because they're friends. That would, that would um, be solid. Uh, Brian Danielson versus Will Osprey should still be show. Yeah, uh, that, that... I don't know why Adam Copeland is in this feud, but Adam Copeland, Mark Briscoe, and Eddie Kingston versus the House of Black. Um, I feel like all the old guys are going to win because uh, I got fucked Malachi Black. And Buddy Hey, what do you do? <laughs> um, no, this, this is not coming from me. This is coming from Tony Khan himself. Uh, oh, okay. Um, okay. Hook versus Chris. This is the yeah. Why is this match a fucking thing? Hook versus Chris Jacko for the FTW Championship. Yeah, I, I honestly, uh, that's what I could care less about. I think that's opening the show. Um, the acclaimed the Daddy Ass versus Butter Club go for the both trios titles. So I'm guessing they're gonna get rid of one, which is most likely gonna be the RH one. 
Uh, somehow, some way, I know the acclaim is gonna fuck with this match. Um, Jeez, that was earlier. Orange County and Shibata versus Shane Taylor and Lee Moriarty. What happened to Orange Cassidy, man? They 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 don't fuck with him. They don't fuck with him. AEW original and now he now he in wasteful matches in the zero hour bro. Come on. Um Trump Beretta versus Master Dow. Why is that even? Um, Dude, you can have that on um, zero hour. Yeah, it is on zero hour. You could have had that on the fucking collision. Literally. Like you know what? You have the Chris Jericho versus Hook on collision too. The thing is, they want they gotta get the pedal off of a hook because his contract is up and he does not want to resign. Okay. You don't think he wants to resign? Yeah, I know he's weighing his options. But I don't think he'll do you think he'll fit in TNA? I think he'll fit in TNA very well. Yeah. Um, WWE, I don't think he'll fit. Yeah, no. Are you saying, yeah, not because I said it? Are you saying, yeah, not because I said it? Or are you saying, yeah, not because you're thinking? No, because, yeah, no, because I'm thinking about it. Because I'm like, I don't really see many people he could really. I mean, how much does he weigh? To WWE. How much does he weigh? Like 190 something? Like they were trying to make Hook like a, a high flyer in WWE. I feel like that won't work. Yeah, he'll be he'll be what is he in, what is he in AEW like a brawler? He's more like a brawler and a submission specialist. I feel like that his style for him being so light, I don't think it'll work. Maybe an NXT. Yeah, but Pete Dunne is like 210. And same with, uh, well, uh, his tag team partner is like 210. They're in the 200s. Hook is 185 circle wet. Right. Right. Palabay is 27. Never mind. Okay, Hook could work. Then, because if Tyler Baker work and he'd be picking up 250, 260, 270 weight people, Hook could work. Uh, I would say he could work. Yeah, Tyler Baker's age, bro. He, he dated Liv Morgan. And Alexa Bliss, too, I think. No, bro. He dated a few people. He popping Liv Morgan zits and shit. She was crazy. Um, yeah, you ain't see that too? Also, speaking of Alexa Bliss, um, there is rumors that she is returning on Monday uh, to win to to win the title. Uh, like tomorrow, I, Monday? Yes. I would not mind if she wins the title and Liv still is mad that she can't win the title. That would actually be great. Oh, hello. Who is this? Hey, NYC. What's up? Uh, you're the only one with a camera on. You know what? I'm not going to be rude. I'm going to have my camera on now. I have about 30 minutes. Yeah, you have 30 minutes? Yeah. Oh, that's, that's great. Look at my fucking hairline. That shit fucked up still. Oh. Anyways. Your hairline. How you Ar- doing? Your hairline is higher than that Arsenal defense. Yeah, shut the hell up. Um, <laughs> what are we doing, guys? Yeah. We're talking about okay, Hook. What? We're talking about Hook and where he could fit. Okay. Um, Who's talking about this though? Hook. Really? Yeah. Wow. I'm hearing a lot of different things. Send them to NXT. Oh my God, he'll be a hit over there. A lot of people are saying that do not go to AEW um, for reasons as seen. You know, you're not on TV uh, that often. 
uh, you're basically wasting your time. Um, and you can't get better, really. There's, there's a lot of... There's a lot of roadblocks when it comes to AEW and being a big star. Um, if you're not one of the originals, uh, you're not really going to go much. You're not really going to go far unless you're no. a big name. Exactly. Uh, like Adam Copeland and, and Mercedes Monet and, uh, of course, it's Jericho, Jay White, even though he hasn't really gone anywhere and, and stuff like that. <laughs> so... Yeah, sadly. Um, I mean, I want to say Jay White's a husband. He hasn't. Uh, he beat the guy who has the continental title right now for the world title in New Japan. But we're just going to completely get rid of that. Completely get rid of that information. Um, which is grimy. That fucked up, in my opinion. Yeah. But, this is this is what this business is, I guess. Uh, WWE is is thriving. TNA, in my opinion, is also thriving. Even though they got rid of Scott Demore, they're still thriving, still making it through. There's gonna, Tony, I, I I definitely Tony think that there will hire, be. Tony needs to hire Demore if he wants to stay face right now. Well, he hired Rocky. Ramon? Rocky Ramon is his vice oh, president. Oh, Romero. Romero, yeah. Rocky Romero is his vice president. Rocky Ramon. I'm like, this isn't the Ramon. <laughs> Whatever his name is. Rocky Romero. He's, he's his vice president. But. I. I don't know. I feel bad. Because a lot of guys. In every, in every company. I feel like there's. Who do y'all think is next to go? In every company. Give me five what? names. I don't think anyone to Next to leave. Or just to walk away. Yeah, next to leave. Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre. East Cup. You think Drew McIntyre is leaving? Yeah. You don't think he's resigning? For, for his best interest, he's the hottest right now. He would gain more than he would have He's hot right now. He's hot. He's hot. I'm sorry. He's hot right now. I don't know, man. He's hot. AEW will throw him a bag. Yeah, no. I, the is, the, they'll bring somebody in who's new out there and everything. And then after like a mini few people see them again for like three or four months and you're like, oh my god, I forgot this person works here. Not your eyes. There's a whole bunch of stuff that they're going to play with. Yeah, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. Okay. One of those teaser. Who? This guy? Hold on, I, I, I'm looking at a video. My bad, my bad. My bad. I, I was looking kids. at a video too. My bad. I, I'll mute myself. You can hear the kids chattering back there. Yeah, true, true. I think well, they they released the uh Shanky. I know he's gone. Shanky. The big Indian dude. Yep. Yeah, Jinder Mahal's gone too. I think the top. I think. I think the problem is, is there's too much talent right now to roster overflow. We 
Yeah. Like who? Yeah, Apollo was on TV like a month ago. Oh, no. Wait, he was there for Andrade's return. Um, right. no. Yeah, he was, he was there like a month ago. <laughs> well, he's a he's a job. <laughs> what do you expect? Pretty much. <laughs> Oh, my goggles. I can go after them. I don't have any goggles. Hey, Mama! Do you have my goggles? Yeah, I think he's gone. Hey, hey. I don't know what happened. They dropped the bowl of... They dropped the bowl of Cameron Grimes. I'm sorry. I just said it to him. I think just the... Oh, he's a job. He's a job. That's a job. That's a job. That's a job. They dropped the ball with Cameron. I know, but I'm gonna go back. Yeah. Ooh. It's probably one of the uh, tryout guys. Could be. Nah, he's done. He's done. He got written he's off done. TV. But by the way, I didn't. I didn't watch. Hold on. Hold on. I didn't watch the video of Logan Paul's response to Ronda Rousey. What was the response? Did you know what happened with Drew Gulak? No, I know that, but I'm talking about Ronda Rousey said that Logan Paul gets special treatment. And Logan Paul responded. He responded to it. He responded to it, yeah. He responded to it on his show. Um, I don't think he gets special treatment. He just wrestled. And he's a YouTuber. So he obviously. Special treatment. Yeah, she got special treatment. Yeah, true. So, our friend was Yeah, honestly. So true. that, but so that, so that 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 makes me believe. Hold on, hold on. That makes me believe that the shit that she said about Drew Gulak is not true. Why? I can't believe. It. I can't believe it. I don't know. It could be. Uh, it could be, like I said, it could be, it could be, it could be in time, but she's just, when, when, at this point with the, oh yeah, 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 yeah. with Ronda Rousey, and... he signed out WrestleMania, another one, another one who's like cat, social media cancer for like wrestling is Goldberg, you know, like, yeah, like, dude, just because you couldn't wrestle and you kept hurting everybody. Yeah, he, he's pissed off at that. I'm like, dude, really? Get over yourself. You've got no one to play. You killed Kevin Owens, Chris. You killed Bray Wyatt, Chris. I believe it. I believe it. Wendy. Sure. Yeah. That was 41 or something. He spent his entire time in New Japan. Oh, yeah. Why do you look like a child, Tamatanga? Why do you look like a child? Because Tamatanga is a different piece. I his last um, New Japan Pro Wrestling. Tamatanga is a real different piece. He decided to shave his hair. The thing about Tamatanga is, man. I'm like, bro, oh, come on, dude. You won't care. You could have easily been Roman's twin. Could have been like. The thing about Tamatanga, bro. Yeah, yeah. He 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 has a lot going for him. Um, I know, honestly, like I said, he's my favorite member of World Club. Maybe he can help bring some seriousness back. Yeah. Right now, I'll give so him this. Solo. So, so, Solo's not serious? Now, now I kind of like what they're doing with him. But I'm like, all right, let's see what else. Well, it, well currently. Even though you guys want to match him forever. Exactly. That, currently. You gotta win. Currently, this, currently, they're saying that Solo turned the wrong. So, yeah, um, I, I don't know if I agree with that or disagree with that. No, actually, my take on it is I think 
uh, Rock and Roman have nothing have nothing to do with it. Solo acted on his own. I feel like that's gonna end up like a little you know uh, of like a plot hole in the whole Bloodline Civil War because we already know the end game for next year's WrestleMania is Reigns versus Rock, and you don't need a title for that. All you need is a title. Well, uh, supposedly it's, it's Rock versus Cody. That's what's real. Yeah. And I was saying, Rock versus Cody is probably where you're going to see Roman come back. Yeah, that, I'm, I'm like, you'll see. Because I feel like that's where Roman can be with Solo. We get a few with Solo. That's like, what the hell are you doing, dude? Like, this might. This might be. Yeah, honestly, I don't see anything with him in, in WWE. I don't know why he. I don't know why he never clicked with the crowd. I don't understand it. The gimmick was fine. It's just the crowd never caught on to it. He's bland. He's bland. He, he's bland. That's that's why the crowd don't really like him. They probably even really like him in, in NXT. He was just bland. He's just bland. Extra Loomis. It was another one that I'm like. Thank you. Last time I saw him, it yeah, was like two. Literally, it was that whole stalking Miz uh, thing where he's like waiting for him at every corner. I'm like, where'd you go? <laughs> like, I Oh. Oh yeah, he's gone. He's gone. He's I gone. heard the name. I think he wrestled once, and that was it. He's gone. He's gone. They have nothing for him. They have nothing for him. Our ambassador. He's staying for a long time. He's an ambassador. He's a WWE yeah. ambassador. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's staying. He's staying for a very long time. When you when you get put, put into that ambassador role, you get a raise. So, speaking of that, who do y'all think? Who do who do y'all think is going to win these the two you know vacant title matches coming up for WWE? Oh, the award finalists came out. Ooh, hold on. The two vacant titles right now, the women's world title, who do you think is going to win that match? And the NXT, the NXT women's North American title. So we'll go. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. <laughs> I miss her a lot. I miss her a lot. I miss her a lot. Real good, real good person. Uh, they have a program. I think they got something with him in NXT. 
That's true. I want to be in charge of big schools. I know. Yeah. Same. I'm glad I got fucking Jimmy. Yeah, yeah. What's the name? Humberto, who's getting his name cut down to now just Berto. <laughs> soon, soon it's going to be Hum. Soon it's going to be real crazy. Mm, she's like that. Okay. Uh, we're going to move on from that. Yeah, uh, 615. I feel like you have something to talk about. Talk about something. Talk about your Titans or something. Yeah, talk about your Titans or something. Talk about... Your... Actually, you know what? What was the worst rest of the moment of last season? Last the season being WrestleMania. Yes. Yes. Um... What was the worst moment you could the worst moment, I think. <sighs> Jay White losing to MJ on one leg and everything else. My I like that was the worst moment. That's the people do right after. I love Joe. Pool gear. Fuck. Pool gear, it was like. I'm sorry, but MJF as a baby is just does not work for me. He's a that works for me. And you love to yeah. hate. Like he became. I feel like a, it works for me. He became a dumbass baby. Basically. Like literally, was like, dude, first of all, MJF, you would have done the same exact thing. But um, <laughs> like you would have, you would have um, created a, another faction. I, um, if you want, if you, because I'm just like, dude, all right. So, I think Full Gate was good. Okay. Uh, NYC, what do you think was good? Say that again because I could, with all the noise in the background, worst, I can really worst, hear worst moment of the year of the, of the previous season. What? What was the worst moment of last year? Yeah. Worst moment. Wow. I don't know. We think thirty-nine and forty. You know, I guess when the, when everything started coming out about name redacted, and, and you know the old saying like, "You have to go to hell to get to heaven." Now we're in the heavenly part of WWE. We're getting things run uh, pretty good. You know. <laughs> Five minutes. What's wrong with you? So you think it's the worst moment? Oh man! Is it? So you think that was the worst moment? Uh, that was the worst was moment. I thought you were. <laughs> you needed that. <laughs> I thought he was working. Yeah, it's awful. You needed. Yeah, you needed that moment of like hell to get to heaven. Yeah. That, that was the worst moment. Sometimes you have to do that as a company. Wait, did the podcast cancel? Yeah. No, we didn't. Oh, my bad. Recording it and then, be, yeah. Because um, Ty and uh, GH2 were lagging, so. I'm sorry about that. I have to get ready for work every day. Oh, yeah, so that is. Oh, good. <laughs> Because the thing is, the thing is, what, what, why, why I didn't like the full, uh, full gear twenty twenty three? It was because I love Samoa Joe, and it completely defeated the purpose of Samoa Joe winning the belt. Because at the end of the day, no one cared because it was just about Adam Cole and his whole retribution knockoff group. I'm like, dude, WWE did this same exact storyline and it failed. I don't get why you thought this was gonna do any better in AEW. Like, like that was a desperate attempt for, like, for AEW. In my opinion, that's where 
it started to turn me away from the product because I'm just like, all right, look, you turn MJF into a babyface clown who we like better as a heel who would have, he would have known Adam Cole was ready to turn on him from miles away. He would have attacked him right after the match. My the worst moment, uh, the Brock random ass hit. Um, that should make no sense to me at the time. I hate it. Yeah, random. Oh, yeah, the raw after mania that was bad too. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, that was gonna be my worst moment too. Brock Lesnar doing the most dumbest big show type heel turn ever. I know. I was like, what the hell? Like, AEW has done some dumb stuff, brawl out, all the other stuff, and everything. Well, no, brawl didn't happen in 2023. It happened in 2020. No, brawl out did happen. It was between the Brock Lesnar thing and brawl out. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. Any Ronda Rousey match. Hey, hey, there you go. Oh, oh yeah, to be yeah. honest, we could be all. Yeah. And Ronda was supposed to be a baby face, and we're like, nah, nah. First off, she's got no charisma, she was terrible on the mic. Yeah, I get it. You have like that UFC background, but nobody cares. You have audacity to have one of the best heels of all times nicknames, uh, Rowdy Piper's nickname, and you do nothing with it. Like, dude, like you, can't, you couldn't cut a promo. You weren't that great in the ring, and you managed to piss everybody off backstage too. It's a triple whammy. Yeah. At least, at least Piper. At least Piper had personality, promo, charisma, and he main invented the first WrestleMania. And you knew what? Once he went backstage, this character went, went right out the window, and he was being his. And because right after he was like, you know, because the only thing that they knew not to mess with, like for Roddy, even as great of a heel that he was was to leave his family out of it and they did like no one ever really went after like his family or anything like that even when he even during the uh um 96 when um Hogan joined the um the NWO and was the third member and his first heel thing he did was hit Roddy Piper with a steel chair in the um where he had a uh, hip replacement surgery. Like, but the thing is, he said, the funny thing is, this, the only, they were like, the only bad thing they could say about Roddy was he was stubborn. But that was also the good thing, too, because he was not letting Hulk Hogan push him around. And that's why Hulk Hogan was about to have a panic attack before WrestleMania won. And I'm like, good, motherfucker, because you were about to make it all about you, weren't you? <laughs> And that's exactly what Ronda Rousey did. That's exactly what Ronda Rousey did. She made it about herself. Yeah. Roddy wasn't like that. Roddy's like, I'm like, I'm gonna steal this show because I wanna make everybody in this arena hate my guts because he him and Mr. T didn't like each other, but he knew the the, the memorable photo for that first WrestleMania was Mr. T picking Roddy Piper up. He's like, hey. We don't like each other that much, but let's do this. Pick me up over your shoulder and do a fireman's carry. Like, and it worked because he was like, you know, that picture transcends time. And it's like, that's where you look at the first WrestleMania. You're like, oh my God, here it is. Uh, well, The 
Yeah, he was. He was. You know what? She is a hater. You know what? I think Ronda would have benefited with a Paul Heyman as her mouthpiece. I think Ronda would have just benefited if she didn't freaking wrestle the way that she wrestled. (laughs) That's also true. Uh, Well, look, you know, I mean, what's done is done. I mean, Ronda, like I said, I think if she had Paul Heyman as a mouthpiece, she would have had a rocket straight to her back because all she had to go in there is wrestle. So speak, don't do nothing. And yeah, she would have she would have had that stayed on that momentum had she had a Paul Heyman as her mouthpiece. It's so true though. I mean to call it what it is. And Logan spoke no lies though. I mean I mean I think I think Logan come from a good place when he said that. I think I really think she was just trying to make her point and she used Logan as an example. You know, I thought what he said was absolutely right. Yeah. So she had to put in her part too. Yeah, yeah, that worked too. What what name she name? I need to know. What name she name? I don't care. Okay. Oh. But do you guys think that Logan Paul really needed? I mean, not to say we don't appreciate what he's done in WWE, but would he have? Right. And I think and also in turn by having, you know, the WWE wrestlers on his podcast is kinda like a you know, returning the favor, so to speak, you know? You know, hey, you guys come on my show whenever, you know. He's had Roman Reigns, uh Triple H, Randy Orton, Becky Lynch, I think. And I forgot. I know he's had a couple other people on his pod on his podcast. Until they started doing boxing. So I wonder, what is your take on influencers becoming wrestlers? I don't love it. You don't love it? I don't love it. He's not seen it, too. Well, I'm going to say. Yeah, no, 
I work 52 oh, weeks a year. I take my no. baby on the road. But yeah. Oh, um, okay. Slow podcast, obviously. Uh, what's next? Who do y'all think is going to win this game? Bucks or Pacers? Who do y'all think is going to win this game? No Giannis. Uh, you know. The Pacers beat the Bucks four times this year. Um... Giannis, I don't think he'll be back until like game three. And Dame is ass. And I don't think he will well, lead this. He's ass. He's not leading this box. I'm um, be right. He's not. I think he was a circumstance because Roman faced everybody by that time. Yeah, somebody yeah, I was knew. a victim of circumstance. I was a victim of circumstance. What she wanted to be in that position? Was she gonna face Roman? <laughs> All right, come on. Okay. All right, guys, I got to go back. I'll, I'll see y'all later. Peace. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's interesting. So now it's obvious that's a bit. Okay. That's good. That's good. For the play? Yeah, I'll give everyone one. Uh, Atlanta, United? I don't know. They probably won. Let me see. Tight. Oh, of course they won. Of course. Of course. Of course, that's a lot. Oh, Damian Lillard. As soon as I say that, Damian Lillard has hit eight straight points. Congratulations, Damian Lillard. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. It's nine to fourteen. I still don't think they're gonna win the game. I don't believe him. Bobby Ford oh speaking of that, let's talk about the NBA award finalists. Um I'm gonna do award by award, obviously. Um let me let me go to the awards and let's go around. They already came out. Uh, yeah, the final yeah. Okay. Um, is here. Oh, you get the haircut. And you want to take a long hair, but you still want to cut it. So I, I found it. It was on Discord. Uh, Clutch player of the year, Stephen Curry, DeMar DeRozan, and Shaq. Uh, defensive player of the year, Bam, Rudy Gobert, or Victor Wembanyama. Um, a lot of Laker fans were upset that AD is not on this list. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Most improved player, Tyrese Maxey, even though Sangoon did not have the amount of games, he had an injury exception. So Sangoon and Kobe White. Uh, MVP, Luka, Shea, or Jokic. Rookie of the year, Chet, Brandon Miller, Victor Wamiyama. Obviously, he's going to be Victor. Uh, six man of the year, Malik Monk, Bobby Paulus, and Nas Reed. I think there's, that's kind of obvious on who's the two that's probably going to win. And coach of the year, Monk Daganoff. Uh, Chris Finch and Jamal Mosley. Don't, don't uh, um, I, my, my picks are most likely Steph, uh, Gobert, uh, personally Kobe White, um, Luka, even though I think Jokic will win it, uh, Wemby for rookie of the year, Malik Monk for six man of the year, and Mark Degano for coach of the year. Okay. One in fourteen Hawks. That's why. That's when they got down to the final, right? They went to the conference finals. They got swept. Oh. No, you got the wrong year. 
They also the Kaiser 15. Yeah. 2015. Um, but I don't think, I don't think. No, no, no. We'll see. We'll Who see. would OKC get next if they win this series? Uh, the Pacers. I mean, I said the Pacers. You hear me? The Mavs or the Clippers? They can beat the Clippers. So you think the OKC Thunder are going to the Western Conference Finals? If, if they can get past, who they have first? The Pelicans without Zion. Yeah, I think they can get past them and the Clippers. If they play the Clippers. I don't know about the map. Do you think that they'll go to the Finals? Mm, depends on who's the other team in the conference final. Okay, so let's say it's the Timberwolves. The Timberwolves? Ooh, that'd be a good one. That's, that's going seven games. But I'll, I'll okay. say, okay, they have more power. All right, what about the, what about the Suns? Mm, nah, probably not. What about the, uh, the Lakers? Yeah. And uh, the most obvious answer, what about the numbers? It'll go five or six games, but they won't win. Okay. Who do you have winning the title? You have the Celtics? I think the, I think the Knicks can surprise some people. You think the, the Knicks? I, I think the Knicks can surprise some people. You think the Knicks can win the title? Yeah, who do they have first? They got um. They got the Sixers without, basically without them being. They they have uh if the Pacers won, then the Pacers on the box. Uh with a hobbled Giannis. And then either the most likely the Celtics. Most likely the Celtics. They have to take the Celtics to seven. Yeah, it'll have to go yeah. seven yeah, for them to get to the finals. I think they got a shot. I don't know. If the Lakers don't win, I want the Bucks. But I mean, I don't know. Because Giannis is out for game one, so I you, you hate you hate the Nuggets or something. Like, what, what's going on? Yeah, yeah. Yo, finally win one chip, and y'all acting like y'all kings. I mean, yeah, you got it. Congratulations. No, Nuggets. we're not acting like we're kings. I'm humble. I'm humble. No, I'm talking about, I'm talking about your coach. I'm my team. Well, Mike Malone hasn't really been respected in the league. That's it. Um, he, he's a he's a top five coach in the league, right? Yeah. But he don't get that respect. Yeah. But also because Giannis is Greek, I'm like, yo, what did she do? Lakers, yeah. Send the picture. Okay. In the UK. In the UK. Oh wow. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, okay, girlfriend. Hmm. I think he goes after the world title. Or he encourages Chad to do more evil. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, man. Oh, man. What's the name? Paper. First Paper. <laughs> she has no idea. I'm here for that though. She'll be in front of me. I feel like you and Ivy Nine will work way back. What she's doing right now. Way back. Uh, NXT. NXT. You're going to be a part of the NXT portion of the show. It's okay. It's okay. You need to you can repackage yourself, redo yourself, and do that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get that one. Yeah, I know, right? In soft ground wrestling. Yeah. Last year he was not as reliable, but I digress. What you mean? He had 40 home runs last year. How was he not reliable? Yeah, but that first half of last year was. Yeah. It has been. It's been a long vacation so far. So you ready? Right. Feels crazy. I'll be back. Uh, before backlash, I'll be back. Yeah, that's yeah, next Friday. Saturday. Yeah, I'll be back and forth. I'll be back oh, that this week. week. I'll be back oh. that week. I'll be back before the first. I'll be back before the first May podcast. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, this is the next Wednesday. Not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday. <laughs> I'll be back next Wednesday. Next, uh, this Wednesday coming up, and then the Sunday. The Sunday, I'll actually be traveling back. So I may or may not be able to come. Yeah, you know, no, Spirit Airlines don't have Wi Fi. No, no, I'm not flying. I'm driving back. Awesome. Yes. That's crazy. Did it last year. Did it last year. Could do it this year. Yep. There's also, I mean, we're not the only, we're not the deepest one. We saw a couple of Massachusetts plates. We saw a couple of Connecticut plates. We even saw an Ontario plate and an Oregon plate. So. Yeah, Alabama. Yes. 
Is that any more to talk about, y'all? Honestly, I don't know. I'm this pretty, is pretty pretty like a, today is like a slow day. It's like a slow week. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm on my vacation. I can't talk shit. I can't make games. Can't really do nothing like that. So, yeah. I mean, we can cut it short today. This is the shortest episode ever. And, you know, we... We we also gotta you know make sure that someone's computer doesn't blow up uh, in the process. <laughs> yeah yeah sure. Um, but yeah, I mean, hey fuck it, we can end it today. We should be back in full effect Wednesday. Wednesday and then not the following Sunday, but the following Wednesday after that. Um, so next Wednesday. Wait, what's next? What's today? The twenty first. Wednesday is the twenty fourth. Yeah, the following Wednesday, we'll be back in full effect. Yeah, y'all heard it first. Back to, you know, my chill days, music, and hopefully Lofin does send me an overlay. That fat motherfucking Bam Bam Bigelow ass motherfucker don't be sending me shit. But. <laughs> yeah, he had, a, he had her screen kind of small when he recorded it. Like, the overlay, the background was bigger than what we were. Uh, so he needs to change that though. All right. But all right. It's been the Plain Possum Podcast. Um, it's time. I'm still on vacation. I'll still be on vacation. It's the 100% real so life. Back. Glad I said sleep and no BS taking the original Greek, the Alpha Omega. Yeah. And I'm Mr. 6.5. We're out. <laughs>